Hey guys, NV here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your first style and save it as your very own custom style so you could use it in other projects in the future. But to do this though, we need to load up our project file that we created the other day. So what we need to do is go to open. But what I'm going to do is go up here to PS icon right up here. And then double click here and load up my first text that we did the other day. I'm gonna go ahead and click open, and there's our text, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. Before I do anything else, I do wanna change the background color. I wanna make it a little lighter. So I'm gonna go down here to the fill and adjustment layer at the bottom of the layers palette, click this icon, go all the way up to solid color. And let's say something about like that right there. Click okay. And now we can't see our text because we have the color above our text. So I need to click our color fill here, click hold and drag below our text like so. And there we go. I'm gonna zoom in here 100%. I'm gonna move this text over and make sure our text layer is selected in the layers palette. And I wanna add a drop shadow to our text, okay? So I need to go down to the FX icon down here. Click on that, click on drop shadow. I'm gonna scroll over a little bit so I can see the rest of it here. And I wanna go ahead and add a drop shadow. I'm gonna uncheck use global lighting. And I'm gonna keep the angle at 120. And distance, I wanna make 20. And size, 15, okay? So I wanna go ahead and make the opacity also about 30. Somewhere around there. There we go. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And there's our shadow applied to our text. Okay. And show you another thing real quick here. Uh, in the text right here, if we look to the side, now we have an X FX uh, icon that appears on our text layer. Click on this little arrow that will expand and drop down this menu so we can see our effect that we applied. And if we click on this eyeball right beside the drop shadow, that hides our effect. And if we want it back, we just simply click it again. So if you had multiple effects here, you could select, disable them all by selecting that eye. And by the effects, click it again. Okay, allows it to be shown. You can also right click and say disable layer effects. Okay. Also, if you want to delete this, uh, the effects, you just click, hold, drag all the way to the trash can and release. That will remove our effect. I'm going to undo that by holding control and tapping the Z key on the keyboard. And to get our, to go to our layers properties, our style, so our, our layer styles property, double click the effect and that brings up our menu. And let's go ahead and save it because this is something we like. So let's go ahead and save it clicking this new style here and let's give it a name my first style I'm gonna leave everything else along here just keep it default click OK and OK one more time and now let's delete this style because we're gonna reapply it by with the style we just saved okay I'm gonna click this drag all the way to the trash can and now our style has been deleted. If you're in the essentials in the Photoshop default workspace, you can see your style by going up to window and scrolling down all the way to styles, just like so. And it will pop it up here on the side. And there's our style we just created right here. And if we click on that, it applies to our text, okay? Another good tip for you guys is to go ahead and save this style by right clicking on it and saying export selected styles. And you can save it in here in the presets folder outside of Photoshop. And all you'd have to do is name it, save it. And that way, if you accidentally deleted this, uh, you can just go up to here, this little icon, go all the way to import, down to import. And then you would select the style you saved and click load. Okay. And you can also delete it, obviously. You can also add it 
to a group folder or in a in its own separate group folder like these are here you can rename it just like that and you can also create another style from this one but i'm not going to do that so we're going to go back to our layers palette and minimize that and let's go ahead and save our style so we don't lose our work okay we're going to go to file and save as because we're going to save it as a separate project file and again save on your computer and we'll change it from my first text to my first style just like so and or save and click OK and there you have it your first style and I want to show you one more thing before I wrap this video up if we hold control and tap the T key on our keyboard this will give us the free transform option here and up at the top right here in this icon this warp icon right here just select that and that puts us in warp mode basically and over here where it says arc we can cycle through these effects here let me zoom in here by holding control and tapping the plus key on the keyboard so we can get a better view of this and so i just wanted to show you guys this it's a really cool effect it's simple but it's really neat just in case you ever wanted to use this type of feature and if you like it you can go ahead and click the check mark to confirm it but i'm going to go ahead and exit out by tapping the escape key a couple of times and that's pretty much it. And until next time, I will see you in another video.